What's up, everybody? We're back to punish myself some more. Yay! Let's just ruin everything. All right, so uh, as I've said in the past couple of videos, I have been losing a lot. So we're not screwing around. We're going for straight up just deep galore. I am not messing around. Um, easy, easy in. We'll go with this. Uh, but we don't want to go with the usual, so we're going to grab Fire Rate. This is not going to be good enough for what I want, so I'm pretty much going to have to go with a Typhoon minigun or a Mammoth chain gun or something along those lines. Uh, Valkyrie rifle would probably work. But you don't gotta twist my arm to use a torpedo rifle to get to where I need to go. So, alright, we'll just take this because we're gonna need a lot of uh, energy cells anyway. Thought I saw something. Is it? Yay! Total useless. Woo! Many missiles. Uh, not good enough. I'm going to take that just in case, because, uh, yep, there we go. So we're going to go Typhoon Minigun. Uh, that's just straight up what's going to happen. Let's go up to blue. Um, and we want to, of course, get ourselves Buckshot. Cadence is good. Uh, Interceptor's fine. Actually, let's reroll for another Buckshot. There we go. Surprise the carbon. Perfect. All right. So we're going to run this Typhoon Minigun for the rest of the game. Something over there. That's weird. My brain was playing tricks on me. It's times where I come in and I get guns like this, and I'm just like. Why do I even mess around with other guns in this game? Like, just punishing yourself. <laughs> oh, sorry, I hit my mic. Let's do this. Alright, anything useful? No. Anything useful? No. Um, we could go up to purple right now, but not yet. I'm going to keep the Typhoon minigun for now, uh, at blue for now. So, uh, we will take this. This doesn't have a critical, yeah, a critical multiplier, okay. The reason why I wanted to check that is because just because something doesn't have a critical multiplier doesn't mean that you don't want to run a crit build on it. But if you are going to run a crit build on something that does not have a critical multiplier, you should seriously consider uh, doing it with uh, cryo. The reason for that is because the cryo you can at least give you 75% uh, 
a critical damage increase. So. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for uh, just extreme spam with this. So I'm going to want to get things like... Uh, well, I'm going to get fire, obviously. Honestly, the reason, since I'm feeling better today, and I'm not really super tilted, uh, I will go ahead and I will explain. The reason I go with fire all the time, and I rarely ever use coal, is because of a multifaceted reason. Obviously, cold can achieve higher... Uh, crit values, okay? The way I look at it, though, is that's already a finite situation where it's going to net you more damage, okay? So if you crit, you will do more damage, right? Whereas fire is going to increase... Just It just gives you free damage, right? So, yes, there are... Like, when I use cold, when I actively go after cold, it's usually because I'm running a gun that's not very good. Because I want to make it better. If it's a good gun already, then why not just have guaranteed extra damage? Uh, this is mandatory for the uh, Typhoon minigun. You have to get hot potato. You're going to waste way too much on reload if you don't go with hot potato. Okay? You don't want to have to give hot potato, or you don't want to have to reduce this thing's reload. It needs help with its damage output. So. Anywho, but the other reasons that I use fire instead of cold is because of Winter Hat. Winter Hat, when you read its tooltip, is not as effective uh, as uh, as Hot Dog. Uh, I'm going to take the Jet Fighter. Hot Dog, as long as the person's on fire and they die, they will it explodes. Okay. Winter Hat's not like that. If I get to see Winter Hat in here, I'll show you what that means. I believe the target has to be frozen for Winter Hat to work. Yeah, okay, I'm going this way. I'm just using a good gun. It surprised me because I'm moving through this really, really fast, but it is what it is. What it is. So, um, I could take that because I do have a lot of explosion in this build, but that's not really that important. I do want this. Uh, I'm not gonna go crit damage, so I don't need to do that. All right. So, guaranteed free damage with no precursors. You know, like you don't, all you gotta do is hit the target and they'll get set on fire. Or you hit the target and you crit, then you get increased damage. See what I mean? Still need our. Uh... Sorry if you heard that. I'm drinking up. Uh, 
Um, don't care about this. Don't care about that. Okay, we'll go with this. Um, don't need the reload speed. How much do I have? Oh, cool. We got enough to go up to purple. Um, give me back. Yes. That's really good. Volatile and bug shot. Is that good enough that I'm not going to care about? No, it's really not. I'm going to have to... Burning Buckshot's not bad either. Bounce is pointless, but Carbon is good. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take Burn. I just used my grappling hook so I couldn't get over there to it. I do want that. I do need to build up my energy cells again, though. I do have auto marking. 56 burn damage isn't really that great, though, so I'm not going to take it. I want to make sure I'm fully leveled. I really wanted that, but okay, whatever. What do you, you got to do? What you got to do? I really would have preferred have uh, volatile and buckshot on here, but. Because it would have uh, increased my overall usefulness of like taking uh, perfume. Explosion damage increases are always good on a commando because there's so many explosions already built into his kit. Absolute cakewalk. This gun is so good, dude. It's so good. It's just crazy how good this gun is. When it's built correctly. When it's not built correctly, it's kind of bad. Dramatic powder, pyro, boom. We are just getting everything we want in this build right now. So now I'd like to see a toaster. Uh, next level up, we want to get. Uh, uh, I am going to take this. 
Absolutely. Uh, but I just want to look at what we got out here. I should get a perfumed as well. 25% magazine size. Neither one of those are useful to me, so I'm not going to take those. A uh, credit card wouldn't be bad. It doesn't really matter, though, is the key, because I have... Yeah, I already have hot potatoes, so it's not actually as useful as you might think. Uh, I am going to take this, though, for sure. We have plenty enough uh, explosions, so... There we go. We're going to go up to purple or orange. Uh, lucky burn and overclocking, not good enough. Uh, and we can't reroll it. That sucks. But at least you guys will be able to see why I talk about Buckshot being so good on this. It does have burn on it. Nice! Free flask! That is fantastic. Cherry's not really that useful, but it is what it is. See how things are starting? Even though I have a level up here, it's going to take a little longer for me to kill. And that's because of how good Buckshot is in this gun. So, not only is the gun doing more damage, or supposedly doing more damage, I also have Perfume, which is increasing all of my mini-missiles damage, and I, it's taking longer to kill. That's what I mean by how good Buckshot is on this weapon. So one of the big things is we are going to be going after Buckshot. So we're going to be using... We're going to be saving our energy cells for rerolls, because it costs a lot to reroll. Still good, though. Good build. Uh, we would really like to see Hourglass, though. Uh, I'm not taking either one of those. Let's see what we got here. Movement speed, alt fire cooldown. Neither one of those are useful. We do have rerolls. That's good. So, volatile warm up and buckshot. I cannot ask for something better. 10% auto crit. Unstable solar. Oh man, that is beautiful. Gosh, this game must feel bad for me or something. Do I want 8%? Probably not. Hmm. No, I don't. I'll get something else. You might be thinking, but as you don't have burn on your weapon, it doesn't matter. Your commando. All of my uh, mini missiles are already set to do burn damage. So what that means is that when I get toaster and uh, pyro punisher, which I'm hoping comes right here, nice. That means that as soon as they catch on fire, which my mini missiles are already going to do, they're going to set them on fire. And then I get 20% increased damage. Once I get a toaster, I'll have 45. It's good stuff. Oh. I already started making noise. And since I have volatile on this one, we're also going to have explosions going on, which are going to be increased by the perfume that I have. keep looking over to the side and not shooting at anything because I'm trying to make sure that I'm not going to get flanked by one of those uh, flamethrower guys. Oh! Nope! Oh! I'm getting, getting too paranoid. 
right here. Remember to keep using my uh, my shorty. It's part of what you use to make sure that you keep applying fire on everybody. See how much quicker that went? Because I'm getting that extra 20%. Uh, now let's just wreck this uh, caterpillar dude. What do we got here? Reload speed, explosion radius. I could use explosion radius. So here's winter hat. All right. Freezing an enemy. Freezing an enemy. Okay not being under the effect of cold freezing an enemy has a 20 percent chance to trigger a cryo explosion freezing from what i understand is the action of actually filling up the blue bar okay so if you want to go with winter hat you really want as much frost buildup as you possibly can get all right now while Whereas all the stuff that has to do with fire, when you look over at pyro powder, increases all damage by 20% against burning enemies. A burning enemy is just someone that's been hit by a fire that has the little yellow bar on their health. It's so much easier to get that to go, okay? And when you see hot potato, it's going to say that when a burning enemy dies, it will explode, okay? Or it has a 20% chance or whatever it says. We'll see it if, if it shows up. So, uh, do I want this explosion radius? Do I want this explosion radius? Do I want this explosion radius? I'm going to take it. I really want the one that increases damage against bosses. Bosses and goliaths. Let's see how my DPS does. We want to immediately set this guy on fire. Set him on fire again. Yeah, he's screwed. Just can't even hang, dude. Just way too good of a build. It is. I'm going to grab this to get it out of the way. We've already got this out of the way. I want to get this guy out of the way because I would really like the the Robo Zerker. That would be great right now. But I will settle for some other stuff. Like uh, top ammo would be cool. I would really like to get hot potato, though. Another good gun right there. Taking down an enemy with elemental damage generates one point each point increases by okay. I want you. No, you cost 12. 10% fire rate would be actually better than my 15% explosion radius, so I'm gonna take that. Uh, I don't actually want that. Party popper would be okay too. But I think I'm gonna save it. I am. I'm going to save it. There's plenty of stuff to buy in Haven. Buddy. Yeah, man. Such a good build, dude. It's so refreshing to actually be playing a decent build again. I've been getting screwed over so hard lately. Just wiped them out like it was nothing. 
Is that the guy up there? He's weird. I swear I saw one of those flying laser dudes. Tempo shot. Oh, there's my Robo Zerker. Nice. We're actually grabbing this for the armor. But having the 35% increased damage and armor is just icing on the cake. That's a great skill. But if I didn't get it, uh, I would absolutely take Baby Boom. You know, if I didn't get one of the ones I wanted right now, I would absolutely take Baby Boom. Even on a build that's not in an explosive damage. You have so many explosions with the uh, commando, but it's still good. I'm getting a little big for my britches, though. I need to be careful. I missed one. I missed two of them. Okay. They're all over here. Okay, right up here. Nice. My usual is about five minutes for Haven City, so I'm like in good time. I'm probably going to grab this, uh, mainly because of Roboserker. Uh, Roboserker, the other function of Roboserker is going to give me uh, damage on targets that attack me, and it'll synergize with Sammy. retaliation it's it uh, synergizes perfectly with Sammy just increases the damage everybody takes when they smack you
Yeah, this build's just crushing it, dude. I'm curious to see how it goes on uh, Uncle whatever. I forgot. I forgot the name of the boss here. Uncle Jim. There we go. I kept thinking Uncle Buck. <laughs> Pretty sure that aged me right there. So that's 94 plus 56 uh, retaliation damage with retaliation and, and uh, Sammy. This still would be a lot better with uh, Hot Potato, but unfortunately for Hot Potato to be really useful, I would have need to have I would have needed to get it before now. Might have enough upward momentum to get out of the way of that. some damage right there that's for sure but one of the things you can remember against beetle royale is if he's hammering you with beam walls like that the moment he starts firing his beam wall jump through the hole in the ground bring him down a level it'll automatically stop his beam wall all right let's rock and roll it sucks that i'm not maxed out on health right now, but it is what it is. It's not good. Okay, we're okay. Let's see if it does what it's done to me the past few times, which is insta give me the moment I walk through the store. 
No, nope, didn't get it. Didn't get it right there. It's trying. remember the typhoon minigun is good when you have it in a correct build it's actually pretty bad when you don't uh we might as well take uh, this and this sure all right let's rock and roll buckshot all day if you're an engineer elemental damage all day Spamming my jetpack too much. Bad move on my part. There we go. Now I'm in rhythm. Kill her before the beam walls. She might just do what she did last time to me and just immediately start with beam walls. Gonna beam wall me? Yep. the beam wall. The beam wall me again? Nope, you're dead then. Oh! What happened? You all saw that. I'm pretty sure I didn't have a, a head. That was wild. I feel like that was fast. What was my total time? Oh, yeah! I nailed it! I shaved three... two and a half minutes, dude. A little more than two and a half minutes off of my best time in that run. And you guys were here for it. Damn! I was cruising, dude. That's what happens when you hook me up with a good Typhoon minigun built straight out the gates. I start cooking. So, yeah. Uh, things of note, everything up here is the exact same. This is just the best build, in my opinion, on a commando. Is right here. Uh, it's absolute extreme level. Really, really good. Uh, but down here, some of the things of note is going ahead and grabbing this perfume bottle even though you're not in an explosive build because your your missiles do you know obviously your missiles your rocket launcher you know your shorty if you have the shorty prototype on your thing to do uh that mega blaster version of it uh then the combo of sammy and uh and retaliation from over here so 106 damage plus another 64 you see 170 damage to enemy damaging you that's pretty good uh, this is incredible if you can get french fries really really early it's really good i picked it up right at the end i wasn't really doing a lot of crit damage so 
it is what it is. But in a crit build, this can give you so many rockets. It's crazy. So, anywho, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I feel really, really good about that one. As I should. I shaved it off my best time by uh, a decent margin. Two and a half minutes. Nice. Peace. I'll see you on the next one.